Okay, so hello everyone, I'm Amin Besson, I'm Amin Besson, and it's not working, amazing, beautiful, yes, no, yes, perfect. Uh, today I'll present you something called TideMec, I don't have time to do the full presentation, so it's mostly eye candy to see if there's any interest in the room. It's a detection platform we've worked at the commission, it's meant to do detection engineering and threat modeling. Uh, so Amin Besson, I'm part of a digitest to catch which is basically the detection engineering team of the European Commission SOC, and I had the development of a platform. The project has been brewing since around March 2022. It started as an R&D project and moved to production around August of the same year, and today it's pouring most of the operations of digitest to catch In a nutshell, it's um, a platform meant to bridge the gap between threat intelligence and uh, the detection rule. So what do we do in between and how can we make it repeatable? So we really sit in a place where there's no other tool, where something's emerging like snap attack or NVIDIA logic, but nothing open source or very customizable. The main problematic we try to solve is how do you bridge between some high level threat and low level threats and how do you write detections around it? So effectively we're something called detection ops, which is um, the application of detection engineering and DevOps. A lot of things to say, but roughly what you need to understand about TideMake is that we have three key models, something called a threat vector, a detection model, and detection rule. Threat vector is a threat, detection model is the objective, detection rule is the detection as code implementation. And our data model allows to chain vectors together and go up and down in the chain. So from any detection rule, we're able to say what threat we're exactly detecting and even go back to the actors that might be executing that threat. Okay, so before I just do a rapid fire of features, um, the things to take away. We are soon to be open sourced. We got approval. So right now it's polishing the details. That will happen end of year, early next year. Just depends uh, about our next release cycle. It will be on code.europa.eu. Uh, and it's likely going to be EUPL or something compatible with that. We'll start with open sourcing the framework and the automation and we'll move to the content later on. Uh, so depending on community, but we start with the automation first. Okay, so this is ICANZ. Huh? I'm not going to deep dive into it. It's just to get some interest. So we have a full-fledged data pipeline. It's fully automated, and it injects a lot of things at runtime. Long story short, it allows us to create a very validated data model. Knowledge base is also fully automated, so we no longer write documentation, neither for threats nor detections. We really polished our developer experience, so it's very easy to create models, very validated, uh, and very expensive. We have something called, I uh, call it Omnisystem. So basically our detection rule, called managed detection rules, are able to deploy on any system and address any parameter of an API, and we have ways to do that. Um, and we have a selection algorithm which allows us to say, hey, if in a single rule we have different status across different systems, uh, I'm going to select the right thing to deploy for um, the current context. We can inject modifiers in the deployment, so we can say something in staging does not get a notable event, something in production does, and it's very, again, extensible, so we can do that on any system in different ways. And uh, a recent update will be the lookup deployment, so we can not only maintain lookup as code, but also validate them as code, and we have a syntax to do that. So, uh, the last thing before I drop the mic will be Tidex, so Tide Exchange. And it's something we try to explore. How do we connect SOX together if we are working with TideMec? Uh, it could be by connecting repository together. It could be with MISP, it could be with Sticks. We don't, we're not sure yet. But the thing we're sure of is we would like this to be more widespread so SOC can collaborate together better in Europe and beyond. And that's it for me. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact me. I'll be here today and tomorrow. Thank you, everyone.